G'day. This is the second of Jim Caronis' integrals for us to evaluate or to work out. And it's not dissimilar to the first one. The only difference is that we now have a radical square root in the denominator. But you will notice that nonetheless the function inside the radical, the x squared plus 4, its derivative is 2x, which is basically what we have on the top. We can certainly provide a 2 if we need to. And that strongly suggests this. Very strongly suggests. Leave the x, and I'm going to change this into index form. So here we have a function to a power with its derivative out the front, basically. And that should remind you of this pattern, that if y is some function to a power, that its derivative, actually I'll, I'll probably write the y dx, I think, its derivative is going to be n f of x to the n minus 1, that's the derivative with respect to the power, and now we multiply by the derivative of the function itself, using the chain rule. And this is the pattern we look for in our integral. We have a function to a power, we have its integral out the front, so let's match this. Now I'm going to use colour to make the adjustments. Our derivative would like to be 2x, so let's make that adjustment. Write in a 2, compensate with a half out the front. Now that is the derivative of that, so we've matched this. And there are two ways of dealing with the integral. I'm actually going to go with the pure form like this. I would like a number here that is one greater than that. So if I add one to a half, negative a half, I get plus a half. So I'm going to put a half here and compensate with a two out the front. Now, this seems like a little bit of overkill, but have a close look. Two times a half is one. I'll, I'll put the one here. And this integral now follows exactly this pattern. So when we integrate it, we get the function to the power n, which is x squared plus 4 to the power n, which is the number we had out the front, plus a half. Plus c, of course. If we wish, we, certainly we, are, we, are, we won't write 1 times that, uh, and we would put this back into surdical radical form. Why? Because it was presented to us in that form and that would be our solution. Pure and simple. Simply recognising that its function inside, its derivative was sitting right where we needed it to be and therefore we could massage it or ma manipulate it into the form that we required. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching.